because you'd have to use a pencil brush to apply your blush. Suntan lotion plus a little bit of plastic in there. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my June Ipsy bag here for you today. So I'm excited to go ahead and show you this bag. As usual, I've gone ahead and opened it up, tried out the products inside. So I'm gonna give you some little mini reviews and my thoughts and opinions on these products. So let's jump into it. Looks like the theme this month is Rebel Rebel. It says Misfits, Rule Breakers, Bad A Babes. The riot starts this June. We're hitting the streets with serious sizzle and signature looks. Coloring outside of the lines is encouraged, sitting on the side of the lines is not. So super cute theme, just that sort of like rebel, getting out of the box sort of a theme. This is what the bag looks like, super cute. That kind of like colorful graffiti look, I love this bag. I think it's so fun and just like happy and artistic to look at. Might be one that might get a little bit dirty, but not super bad and I mean, with all that pattern going on, you're probably not going to see it if any makeup gets on it. So let's go over what's inside. Okay, so first off, it's a nail polish and I actually hadn't tried this yet. So I just went ahead and painted my nail real quick. Um, it's still drying, <laughs> but you can see it there. This is in the shade. This is one of the Formula X polishes, which I love. I think these are always really, really great. This is in the shade Wing Woman. And looking at it, it's a really pretty red. It's kind of like a slightly pinky raspberry red and it's got like a nice shine to it and this is just one coat so it seems like it could be a one coater if you wanted it to be and it's really really pretty so that's exciting and it's cute and little which is also exciting okay now i have to be careful with my drying nail polish and make sure i don't mess up my beautiful manicure of one nail okay so next off i got the clara c sea salt solutions face it says face. That's so weird. Face is separate from, I don't know, Clara C Sea Salt Solutions Face Deep Pore Detox Activated Charcoal Exfoliating Mask. So this is one of those that it's sort of like just the powdery and it's going to go everywhere and probably mess up my one nail. It's just like a, a loose powder sort of a situation. So you have to add water to it. So I did use this and I was kind of like having trouble getting the consistency just right. Like I would get it like too watery and then sort of too thick so it wouldn't like move around. It was just sort of powder puffing everywhere. I mean, that's just user error that I'm trying to figure out like how to really mix this well, but I liked it. I mean, I like charcoal masks. I think it's kind of fun. The it feels like a spa sort of experience that you're kind of like mixing your own masks. So I think that's kind of fun. Um, and if I get skincare, masks are my favorite, so I like this. Then I got the three-tone bronzer from Crown. I'm actually not wearing this today. I filmed another video, so I'm wearing something else, but I have tried this a couple of times, and it is so tiny, like the three different pieces, that I just swirl them all together, and I really like how it looks all swirled together, but I wanted to show it to you like pretty and separate. So you have your highlighter, your blush, and your bronzer. Let me see if I can swatch these separate. Yeah, so there they are separate. And the bronzer is a pretty like, kind of um, very bronzy bronzer. So there they are all separate. The highlighter is not very intense. So that doesn't really show up on me. But when you mix them all together, it makes a really pretty kind of like glowy blush color. I actually love this all mixed together. It's beautiful. So it's kind of like a warm peachy sort of a shade right there. It's very light, it's very subtle. So for, you know, like intense eye looks like I've got going on right now, it's perfect. Really pretty, wore really well throughout the day. I love how tiny it is for traveling. So, I mean, I like the size of it. It's just one of those things that, you know, I wouldn't try to use it separate because you'd have to use a pencil brush to apply your blush, <laughs> which probably wouldn't work out very well. So I would just say, swirl it all together, make yourself a nice kind of glowy blush, and I really like it for that. And I got a really cute single shadow from The Balm. This is from the Meet Matrimony Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in the color Matte Kumar. It says, you look gorgeous on the inside. Well, thank you, Matt Kumar, that is so nice of you. So this is a really pretty, kind of like, I don't know, burgundy sort of a color. Really pretty, blended really well. 
I have kind of wanted this palette. It just seems a little bit pricey, like the full palette. I want to say it's like 40 something dollars, which really, I mean, that's comparable to a lot of other brands, but I don't know. Something, it just, that sounds like a lot of money for it. So haven't gotten the palette yet, but at least I have one shade from it. And I really like Matt Kumar. I think it's pretty. It blends well, it's worn well. I do have this on my lower lash line today. And it's just a really beautiful burgundy sort of shade. Really, really pretty matte color. And then lastly, I got a gloss and I totally forgot to put this on until right now. So you can see what it looks like right now. But actually, it's really close to the lipstick color that I was wearing. So pretty much that same color, except in a gloss. So this is from Be A Bombshell and this is in the shade Secret. So here is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty, like classic packaging, kind of a little bit Mac-ish looking. As far as the scent, the scent is kind of strange. Like it's basically like suntan lotion. Like it's sort of dessert-y, but kind of coconut-y, which I love coconut, but I don't know why it's a little bit strange for me that it like smells like suntan lotion. I like that scent, but I guess I've just never had a gloss with that scent. So it's a little bit different. A little bit plasticky too, not super duper plasticky, but just a little a little hint of plastic. So like suntan lotion plus a little bit of plastic in there. So <laughs> here's what it looks like. Really pretty kind of peachy nude color. It's really a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Love it. Like one of those, you can just throw it on. It's gonna wear well with any makeup look. You can throw it in your purse. It's an easy peasy sort of a color. As far as the formula, it's very, smooth, not sticky at all. So it's not long wearing, but it's very, very comfortable. It feels hydrating, feels nice on the lips, but it's not gonna be one of those glosses that's really gonna adhere and stick and stay around for a good amount of time. So if you just want a little bit of gloss, a little bit of color, you don't like the sticky feeling, I think you would like the formula on this gloss. And like I said, the color is just a perfect go-to kind of a shade. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I would say that this one was another winner. Like, I've been loving Ipsy lately. That's just been so good. I love everything in, in this bag, but as far as like my standouts, it would definitely be the gloss and the eyeshadow. Those are my two favorites, but I'm enjoying everything, so. Love an Ipsy. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, it's $10 a month. I'll leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your Ipsy bag if you subscribe to it. What was your favorite thing that you got? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!